speaking to you, the appointed bishops, on the 16th of September this year, the Holy Father Pope Francis said, First of all, accompany your clergy with solicitous patience. Be close to your clergy. I beg you to take your priests, the Pope's embrace, and appreciation of their act of generosity. Try to revive in them the awareness that Christ is their destiny, their share and source of inheritance. Their part is to drink from the cup. Who can fill the heart of a servant of God and of his church other than Christ? Take special care to of all families, rejoicing with their generous love and encourage the, encouraging the immense good that they lavish on this world. Above all, follow the most wounded. Do not pass by in the face of their frailties. Stop to let your heart of a pastor be pierced by the vision of their wounds. Approach them with delicacy and without fear. I beg you to thank you for the service of the people. Dear Lord Jesus, when you ask us to follow the Holy Pope Francis said, that you strive to do everything you can to strengthen the fraternal communion, especially among and with your priests. Trust too in their prayers and in their love for you. Pray for your people, priests and religious. Dear people, religious and priests, please pray also for your bishop as well as for your priests, as you start this new adventure for Christ in this land. Signed, Archbishop Antonio Menini, Apostolic Lucio. Thank you, Monsignor Brady, for the wonderful words of blessing. Now it is my privilege to invite His Excellency the Right Reverend Michael G. Campbell Lawyer Bishop of Lancaster. Dear friends, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Catholic Diocese of Lancaster offers our warmest congratulations to the Sierra Malabar community as they celebrate with great joy the erection of their new eparchy and the consecration of its first bishop, Mar Joseph Strang. We in Lancaster assure them of our prayers as they begin this new phase of their church life as an eparchy. I am absolutely delighted that our Holy Father Pope Francis established the new eparchy for the Sela Marabar faithful in Great Britain on the 28th of July so as to provide the necessary church leadership, stability and strength for the Sierra Malabar Catholic Church to bear witness to Jesus Christ in these lands going forward. We stand by and pray for Mar Joseph and his clergy and people in the days, months and years ahead. I am aware that as the E-Party begins its infancy, it will require the continued support of the diocese and indeed all the Catholic dioceses of England, Wales and Scotland. And surely this will be forthcoming in so many ways. For us in Lancaster, we are so pleased to have assisted the new e Party and to have provided it with its new beautiful cathedral church, St. Alfonso in Preston. A big thank you to everyone who has made this possible today. I pray God's richest blessings upon this endeavor. May the e party of St. Alphonse in Preston flourish. God bless you all and thank you.
Ilan Kaska, Moss Lauren, Michael Campbell. I give a memento from the part of the Synod of Bishops of the Silver Lord Church. This memento contains the relic of St. Alphonsa and the picture of all the saints and blessings of the Silver Malabar Church. Thank you, such a fall. 
in the Catholic processions. The very important saints are represented by their statues at the end of the procession. So it is great joy to have the message of Cardinal Santri, who is the prefect of the Oriental congregations. He is represented by Monsignor Cummings. Your beatitude, George Cardinal Allen Cherry, your Lordship Michael Campbell, Bishop Alex Sampical, my brother bishops and priests, men and women religious, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, in the presence of the Head and Father of the Cyril Malabar Church, this beatitude Cardinal George Allen Cherry, Bishop Alex Sampical, takes a great step and with him the whole Sierra Malabar Church. He receives a full share in the mission handed on by the Apostles so that he might lead a portion of God's people in communing with the major archiepiscopal synod of the Sierra Malabar Church and with the successor of Peter. At the same time, the Sierra Malabar Church initiates her first eparchy in Europe, providing juridical structures for the 30,000 plus faithful currently living in England, Scotland, and Wales. Bishop Srampikal, the faithful and trusted to your care, will need support in order to face the challenges that arise when making a new life in a foreign land. It is very far from home and different in many respects. They come seeking opportunity, certainly, but bringing with them a still more precious treasure. Just as St. Thomas once brought the light of the nations to India, so now they must shine that light in a region where the once splendid Christian heritage is rapidly fading. Your flock must be strengthened so that rather than suffering negatively from the secularism they encounter, they may instead suffuse their neighborhoods and workplaces with the good odor of Christ in our hope. May they plant in Great Britain the seed of a vital ceremonial of our presence with strong families, numerous vocations, and missionary zeal. May it grow and bear fruit for the good of both fellow Christians and people of other faiths as well. I willingly join with you, Bishop Joseph, and with your large and widespread flock in thanking God for this great gift. May the Heavenly Father provide you with the wisdom and courage, charity, to overcome all obstacles and lead them securely to eternal life. To his beatitude, Cardinal and Cherry, and to the bishops, priests, consecrated persons, and lay faithful participating in this solemn celebration, I express my brotherly and profound regards in a particular way. I extend my heartfelt thanks to His Excellency Monsignor Michael Campbell, Bishop Lancaster, who has already warmly welcomed and generously facilitated the creation of this eparchy. Thanks also to all the other local Latin bishops for all that they do for the several Eastern Catholic churches present on the British Isles, and to the Eastern hierarchs for their brotherly presence and expressions of goodwill. Aware of the special love of the Blessed Virgin Mary for her dowry, that is for England, we ask her confidently to intercede for the new bishop before her divine son. May our glorious Savior grant your excellency every blessing at the start of your new mission, with my best wishes, Leonardo Cardinal Sandri, Prefect. Thank you for the message of descendants, Colonel Leonardo Sandri. Now it is time of our bishop. Bishop Mark Joseph Sandigal is addressing us 
So could you please be seated? Thank you for your patience and silence. Before that, Apostolic Nuncio to India, Most Reverend Salvatore Pinacchio, has given me a present to be given to our new bishop. So I'm just giving him it is a pectoral cross. On this day, when I stand under the mercy eyes of God, surrounded by all of your warmth of love in this priestly town of Preston, my heart overflows with love and gratitude to our Lord and God for raising me to the fullness of priesthood. I see in Pope Francis, the vicar of Jesus Christ on earth, a loving father establishing the Surah Eparchy of Great Britain and appointing me as its first bishop. I also keep in mind with heartfelt gratitude the congregation for the Oriental Churches for its assistance for all the Eastern Churches. From its foundation in 1917, like that, his gratitude, Leonardo Cardinal Sandri, the Prefect, His Excellency Cyril Vasil, the Secretary, and Venerable Father Lorenzo Lorusso Opi, the Under Secretary, for their apostolic seal. And I thank Venerable Father McLean Cummings, the official of the Oriental Congregation, in charge for the Zero Mother Church for his presence and reading of the message of His Eminence Leonardo Cardinal Santri. For the past five years, our Zero Mother Church has witnessed an abundance of the sins under the guidance of His Gratitude and George Cardinal Chaney. And the Eparchy of Great Britain is the latest blessing from God to the Zero Mother Church. I express my profound gratitude towards His Gratitude Lord George Cardinal Chaney, Major Archbishop of Zero Mother Church, for His paternal love, guidance, and care. And I also express my filial affection and devotion to His Gratitude for consecrating and installing me as the Bishop of the Party of Great Britain in today's service. Together with His Gratitude, I thank all the Bishops of the Zerubar Senate for their fraternal love. The presence of His Grace, Most Reverend Antonio Menini, as the representative of His Holiness of Pope Francis, is kept alive, amidst as by Monsignor Matteo de Mori, the first counselor of the negotiation, and by Monsignor Vincent Bradley, and I express my sincere thanks for their valuable mediation. The relationship between the Roman Catholic Church and the British monarchy had been evolved through ages, and we are now standing at a juncture of wider friendship and mutual understanding. I am grateful for the esteemed presence of Her Majesty's representative, Colonel Alan Choli, Vice Captain of Langashay. It is my pleasure to remember with gratitude the right worshipful Mayor of Preston, Councillor John Collins, who had always lent his helping hand to the Zero Bar faithful, and this was even notably seen during the bad pangs of the new Eparchy. I extend my gratitude towards His Eminence Cardinal Vincent Nichols, President of Bishop's Conference of England and Wales, and His Grace Archbishop Philip Tatalia, President of Bishop's Conference of Scotland, for their immeasurable help and generosity. And I assure them and all the bishops of Great Britain my sincere cooperation and commitment for building up the body of Christ in Great Britain. The party of Great Britain would have remained a dream without the help and support of His Excellency Right Reverend Michael G. Campbell, the Bishop of Lancaster, 
and to ask His Excellency who heart willingly offered out, out, offered out of His generosity the beautiful cathedral of St. Alfonso for the Sermon of our Church. I thank you, Your Excellency, for your particular care towards me and towards your community and now and for the future and also for being the co consecrator a Barrio Pali is known for his vocations and for his missionary charism, and I was fortunate to be born and bred in her ambience. I would like to remember with gratitude by Joseph Alika Brambil, the second Bishop of Pali, who had received me as a candidate for priesthood and provided me all the opportunities for getting an outstanding formation, especially by sending me to the Pontifical Urban Seminary in Rome and the University of Oxford. And it was by this imposition of hands I was ordained a priest in the gay Jubilee year 2000. Mar Joseph Renard, the present bishop of the Eparchy of Pali, was gracious to be the co consecrator. The last 12 years of my life was much influenced and fashioned by the person, the vision, and the decisions of Mar Joseph Renard. Thank you, Your Excellency. Mar Sebastian Marakel had been continuously working all these years in His Excellency's capacity of being the Chairman of the Civil Commission for Evangelization and Pastoral Care of Migrants. I am very much happy to thank His Excellency and His Commission on this day of the fruition of their work. I thank all the Archbishops, Bishops, Priests, men and women religious who have blessed me by their presence and prayers. I am really, I am really happy and strengthened by the presence of Monsignor Vincenzo Viva, Director, Monsignor Vincio Benicio, the Procurator, Reverend Father Alessandro Brandi, the Vice Director, and D.K. Tobias, the Student Representative of the Development Seminary, where I was a student from 1995 to 2000, and Vice Director from 2013, until my appointment as the Bishop. Grazie, cari amici. I also thank the Reverend Father Mark Vitus, my classmate from Rome. This consecration certainly would not have been possible without the 15 committees and the parish council members who are working under the able leadership and planning of the Reverend Father Thomas Paredi MST, the General Convener, and the Reverend Father Matthew Jurapaygi, the Joint Convener and Local Coordinator. I thankfully remember the hard work sacrifices of all who have been behind this ceremony. My special thanks to all the choir members, especially to Father Sebastian Chamakale for their commitment and hard work. I thank all the people who collaborated for the successful accomplishment of this function, especially the media. I extend my gratitude and friendship towards different dignitaries from the various religions for their presence. I am grateful to Mr. Sajid Paul, the Joint Secretary of National Coordination Committee, for his kind words. Since the day of my appointment as a bishop, and especially from 18th September, my arrival here in Great Britain, I was amazed by the care, love, and affection that you showed towards me. I was moved by your enthusiasm. I felt at home with you. Pray for that. On the other place, so for this, so for the Great Britain, so for the Lubada. England, the Great State, Scotland, the Great State, so for the Great State, Nirendra Maya, 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 Nirendra Ninggal kerjanya kahwin mila, cedah illah di lalat. Tiap hari, ini petaran ayat ini bercakap dengan mereka. Kebal dengan ini, sabtu berpakaian dalam tiada mereka. Kebetulan di beberapa bahagian yang mana pada, ninggal orang orang yang ada di sana, illah sehingga malam sehingga malam. Tiap hari.